know some booties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, cause we get in baddies over here. All right, man, today's video, why she comes back after you fall back. After you giving her space, keeping your distance, doing your own thing, all of a sudden, what you got going on over here? I see you just doing you, huh? Okay, well remember me? She feeling some type of way, right? Um, Yeah, man, you might be in no contact right now, and if you are in no contact, stay strong. I know it's not easy, trust me, I've been through it, Shoot, I might be going through it right now, who knows? But I don't even consider it no contact because it's like, if she ain't messing with me, she ain't messing with me. Why am I gonna try to mess with somebody that don't wanna mess with me? Why are you gonna try to mess with someone that don't wanna mess with you? You know what I'm saying? Of course, at some point, you're gonna go through your emotions. You're gonna have your ups and downs. You're gonna be feeling some type of way. You're gonna be in your feelings. It's okay. I'm not thinking of you as weak. I'm not looking at you as weak. Like, damn, he, he a sucker. Look at his feelings. You gotta go through it. But you can go through it one way, the beta belly way, or you can go through it the alpha anyway. You can have your feelings and all that, but you can keep it alpha. You know what I mean? Like, keep to yourself. Use that energy. All those feelings that you, you know what I mean? The resentment, the anger, the sadness, the low-key depression. Use all of that energy. Bottle it up. Start working out. Start making money moves. Start making better friend groups. Start networking. Start taking extra shifts at work. Making more money. Use it to better yourself and become a better version of yourself because the beta Billy way is, oh, I'm sad, I'm depressed, I'm just gonna lay here and cry and complain and mope and hit her up and, well, I shouldn't hit her up, I'm on no contact, ah, it make it even worse. I can't even contact, I don't even know what she's doing. But who cares, right? Who cares? You do, obviously, but you gotta, you gotta use that caring, all right? And it's something else, something positive. And then it comes to a point, you know what I'm saying? You're doing the no contact, you're doing your thing, you're giving her space, that each day slowly becomes better, especially if you're actually working on yourself and you're distracting yourself in positive ways. The days start to become better and you start to realize, you know what, life can go on without her. I can do this. And life might even be better. And you might have been in this toxic situation that wasn't no good for you, and the universe was trying to pull you guys apart, and it did, but you was trying to cling on to it. So now you're doing your own thing. You're on a positive, you know, trajectory in life. I'm proud of you. You should be proud of yourself. You're looking in the mirror, you're like, yeah, I'm him. Him with these back. You feel me? That dude. And um, curiosity struck. She over here wondering what's going on. She might be checking your Instagram stories from a fake page or she has her friends checking for you, for her. And um, she's just curious. She wants to know what's going on. Why haven't you been contacting her? You guys might have been through this situation before and in the past you reached out. So she might be expecting you to reach out because it's it's normal. And she felt comfortable breaking up with you because she knew you're not gonna go nowhere. You're gonna be right there thinking it's okay to send a hey every now and then, just checking up. What you checking up for? The only reason you gonna check up is to make sure she's still there. Cause you curious. Now you acting like the female. Females will hit you up. I'm like, hey, hope things have been good. Because you're on your purpose, you're on your grind, you're focused. Right, so she, she's got a lot of curiosity going on. And um, curiosity is the number one reason a lot of people try to figure stuff out, try to hit people up. Like, hey, what's up? We ain't talk, she's used to talking to you. Let's not forget, let's, let's not act like you guys stop talking and she's just completely fine, completely normal, and life goes on smooth. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you guys have been in a relationship where you guys talked all the time and she was getting mad at you for not responding fast enough. And now you guys just got your space and she's fine? Unless she's like a robot or something, she's not okay. So she's, her mind is racing, she's curious, she wants to know what's up. All right, another reason she hits you up, she genuinely misses you, you know what I'm saying? She genuinely is like, you know what? I miss hanging out, I miss spending uh, you know, time with him. 
I miss cooking him food. <laughs> I miss him rubbing my back or rubbing his back or going on our little dates and doing whatever you guys did. She might miss you piping her down. I don't know. I don't know, but I do know she gonna miss it. She genuinely misses you. Whatever aspect it was of you, whatever it is that you did, you had some sort of memorable trait that she took away from the relationship and now she's realizing, dang, I don't get that no more. Reality sets in. You're not contacting her. You're not reaching out, making it clear that, hey, I'm still here for you if you ever decide you wanna come back making her comfortable, right? So now she getting nervous and now she getting a little, ooh. Reality hitting, it's hitting hard. You ain't hitting them cheeks, you know what I'm saying? And now she's like, oh, wait a minute. I gotta either find something else or work it out with somebody that I'm already comfortable with and know everything about and built this whole relationship and foundation with and opened up to and all of this. Or I gotta just go back into these streets and I'm telling you right now, a lot of these women do not wanna go back into these streets. They might immediately after the relationship because they're thinking, you know what, I'm just gonna go out and I'm just, I still got it, I'm still her and I'm just, I don't need nobody and everybody wants me and da da da. They think the grass is greener, the grass ain't greener, you know what I'm saying? The grass was green when you guys were a team, when y'all were like this, an item. She picked you because you were the greener grass. So now she's thinking, oh no, no, it's fine. Going out there and then she starts to realize as time goes by, these dudes ain't nothing. These dudes, they, they haven't been watching any one women. They ain't doing the right things. And she comes back. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. All right, another reason is she's just testing your strength. You know, women, women test you all the time. When you're in a relationship or not. <laughs> she's testing your strength to see if she does come back. Are you the same person or have you changed? And changed in a positive way. Because if she comes back, and then you immediately jump to, oh, thanks for hitting me up, I miss you so much, let's go out, let's do something, this, that, and how have you been? And just trying to like get back to where you guys were when you were deeply in love, then it shows that you have no emotional control, no emotional strength, you haven't been working on yourself, you kinda just been doing this no contact for the sole purpose of getting her back. And that's the last thing you wanna do because, bruh, you, you've been doing this no contact. It's already been hard, right? You've been going through your ups and downs with emotions and all of this, and you've been trying to stay strong, and she finally reaches out, and you get super excited, and then you go right back and revert to the old you, and then it's like, though no contact was for nothing. That's how she's looking at it. She's like, oh, my uh, uh, spider senses were right. He's the same old dude. Doing the same old stuff, still clinging on to me in our relationship. He ain't got no options. Like a dude with options is not over here. Oh, oh my God, thank you. What's up? How are you? Let's do something. He's like, what's up? You trying to come back into my life. You've been working on yourself, bro. You've been over here waking up earlier than you usually do. Spending time reading books, working out. You know, focus on yourself, bettering yourself, eating right, doing what you need to do for you. And then she just pops back up, like it's all good, like she could just come in and out of your life. No, she gotta go to the back of the line and start over. She gotta earn it. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, you think we just gonna break up or you gonna break up with me, especially if she broke up with you. I, she don't get to just hop back in, like, oh, yeah, I'm back. Okay, and I got options. I, I got other people that want me and desire me because they know my worth and my value and I've been working on myself and they see that and they appreciate me and they don't just leave me when things get rough. So, um, yeah, man, make it work for it. She gonna come back, she gonna try to test you, and you know, the craziest thing is, she's getting, it's, it's Uno reverse car, she getting a test. Oh, you thought you was gonna come in and test me? Ha, huh? ain't no testing me, baby. I'm doing me, I do what I want, I move how I want, and I only invite people into my life that are gonna benefit my life and make me a happier, better version of myself. And how you've been throwing me to the back is not making me happier or better. Well, it did make me better because now I've been locked in and focused, but that's about it. And that was without you. So why would I have you come back to go back to an old version that probably was not the best version of myself? It definitely wasn't the best version of myself. Simple as that. So stay strong, you guys. She's gonna come back for one of these reasons. Now you know why, but don't jump 
at the first <laughs> the first time she throws the bait. Don't don't jump for it. Don't just chill, just relax. You deserve to be chased. And she can get replaced. But hey man, you know, take it slow. Let her, you know, work her way back into your life if she wants to and proves that she really, really is taking it serious. And it might work out. And it could be better than before. But I don't want to count on it, you know? <laughs> Anyways, that is it for the video for today. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Winning With Women. Subscribe to the Patreon if you want some personal one-on-one -on -one advice or just more exclusive content. Until next time, focus on you and the women will too. I know some beauties in Cali. They all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas. They all be showing the